I mean, really, is there any sort of truth with the emotional response that you're having in everyday life? So stick with me, I'm going to show you how to prevail. Welcome back, my name is Dre. I help people master their journey. And in this video, I'm going to teach you a little bit about cognitive distortions, man. A little bit about emotional response and overgeneralization that I know you're doing. I know you're doing it because I did it for years for freaking years and it kept me in the hole. It just kept me in the muck. It was like I was standing in quicksand and I just kept moving my feet around. Kept moving my feet around and just getting deeper and deeper and deeper. And by doing this, I couldn't even tell that I was just digging myself into a hole. I thought that this was real. I thought that the way I felt and the responses I had to situations in life were actually truth. Today I'm here to tell you that that's not the truth, man. So I'm gonna go over two things about cognitive distortions that I know you're doing and I can help you get past this easily, easily. And all it takes is a little bit of understanding and stepping back and being honest with who you are and what's going on in your life. All right, before we begin, I want you to go downtown and smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. I make these videos every day. I appreciate you showing up to take the initiative to change your damn life, man. Learn how and fucking execute. Just go for it. So let's begin. So yesterday, if you haven't checked out the video, I, I mentioned a little bit about cognitive distortions, but today I want to go a little bit deeper and I may in other videos because man, I know how much this helps by just having this knowledge and realizing that you're doing these things. You can change it and totally improve your life. The one thing that I went through, I'm an empath. I'm extremely empathic. When I was younger, all I did was live my life controlled by emotions that I thought, I totally believed that they were real. They were real. But let me tell you, man, if you take anything away from this video, this key point right here, your emotions, okay, right here, your emotions are like leaves in the wind. They flutter away. They come past and they flutter away. Your emotions are like leaves in the wind. Remember this. Remember this. Nothing with an emotional response is good. You can use emotions to fuel manifestations and beliefs in your identity. You can do this, but so many of us do it in the wrong way. We don't intentionally do it. We allow just the whim of the world to control us. Our emotional response is completely true. So one thing that I used to do that I see so many guys do is they allow their emotions to be set in stone as truths. This is where you get hung up, man, because you as you improve your, you need to challenge your emotions, the response you're having. Now, I've said this before and I'll say it in every damn video, meditation helps greatly with this, greatly. And it allows you to truly step away from things that are running you, things that are on autopilot. These emotional responses you have, man, you can allow them to implant into your being. And over time, they become real and they become part of you. And that's where we get hung up is we allow them to be implanted and just set in stone as truth. But they are not, they are not, okay? Your emotions are truly like leaves in the wind. They come and they go. Life is ups and downs, man. Nothing is truly set in stone unless we intend it to be. 
Now, intend those emotions to be something positive that manifests greatness, not just at the whim, at the will of things. That's how I was for years. My emotional response to everything was a negative way. It had such a immense negative connotation to it that I went down in the tubes, man. I spent so many years in irrelevant suffering that I did not have to go through. And that's also another cognitive distortion. It's called the heaven's reward fallacy. Now, I'm not going to get into that too much in this video, but it literally is. You think that there's some sort of reward that you should get for the suffering that you're going through. All of the self-doubt and stuff you put yourself through, the hard times that are unnecessary, you think you should get rewarded for that. Pfft. You want me to go more deep on that? Man, hit it up in the comments. I'll talk about it. Just tell me and I'll get to it. I'll put it in the roster. We can talk about it, have a conversation, get past that and become better. So the second thing I want to talk about is overgeneralization. This is so common. It's so common, but so easy to get past once you learn to step back. Release yourself from this surface level bullshit and just realize what's running you and what's going on. And from there, man, great, great changes can happen. You have just summited the mountain if you do that, man. That is, mm, that is very, very good progress. So, what is overgeneralization? You literally create false conclusions of your identity, man. It is, it's, it drives me nuts. It drives me nuts because I have done this so much and I've seen so many guys go through this where they, they'll take one little thing, one little thing and blow it out of proportion. I got fired from my job. I'm no good. I'll never be able to be the person that I want to be. You know, you uh, get dumped or rejected. I'm not good enough. I'll never get a girlfriend. I'll never find love. You take one little thing and overgeneralize it and make it your identity. You just set it in stone, man. And the reason why it sticks is because, that's right, you guessed it, there's an emotional response behind that. Man, you just etch it in there. This is forever. No. Get over it, man. You're denying what life is. Life is flow. It's all about flow. There are ups and there are downs. Your emotions on this flow of life are just leaves in the wind. If you grab one and hold on to it, enough time passes and that leaf becomes a part of you and you make it your identity. This can be good and bad, but we're talking about hangups that guys have without being in, in an advanced, you know, because as you get advanced, you can use this to your advantage. But in the beginning, you got to realize how detrimental it is to your well-being and your growth. This is the part of suffering that we need to alleviate ourselves from and then Go forth and conquer, like I always say. So thank you for watching, my friend. If you dig this kind of content, subscribe to the channel. There's a buy me a coffee link. You can support my work. You can book one-on-one -on -one coaching. I hope to see you there, man.